Hey everyone, Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center. Over the weekend, I asked you guys to respond to a Twitter poll uh, asking which uh, MS disease modifying therapy you wanted me to explain. And the uh, winner was Zimbrita uh, or Diclusumab. So I want to spend a few minutes talking about the newest MS drug to join the armamentarium, Zimbrita. So Diclusumab is a monoclonal antibody, and I'm hopeful that you can see the board here. I'll zoom in on it. And if we look at the word Diclusumab backwards, it gives us insight into the way that the drug works. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. So MAB means that this drug is a monoclonal antibody. Uh, there are other monoclonal antibodies in MS, like Tysabri and uh, like Lemtrada. Now, ZU means that Diclusumab is humanized. It's got a lot of human uh, content to it. They've taken out as much mouse as possible. And LI means that this drug was invented for an immune target. And so Diclusumab is a monoclonal antibody that's humanized and invented for an immune target. The trade name is Zimbrita. Now, Diclusumab works in a different manner than other uh, monoclonal antibodies. And I just want to remind us that monoclonal antibodies are like keys. They're very, very specific smart bombs. And so here is a key, and this key only fits one lock. Zimbrita is like a key that only fits a lock. And it fits the lock of IL-2. Now, IL-2 is an interleukin which is necessary to cause the autoimmune response to rev up and attack the brain and spinal cord. Specifically, IL-2 is involved in expanding activated T cells. And let me explain what I mean. When the immune response is turned on, the T cell becomes activated, and then it needs to make a bunch more copies. It needs to expand. And you have to have a bunch more copies so it can go out and do its thing. It requires IL-2 in order to expand. Zimbrita is a key that binds up the IL-2 alpha subunit and disallows it from doing that. So Zimbrita stops IL-2, which inhibits the promotion of activated T cells. So in essence, this monoclonal antibody uh, prevents the cascade of events that lead to activated, expanded T cells. And by doing so, you, your auto-reactive immune system can't attack the brain and spinal cord as well. Now this monoclonal antibody is unusual in that it's an injection under the skin and it's given once a month. Again, my name is Aaron Boster with the Ohio Health MS Center, spending a few minutes explaining how drugs work. Today, we talked about Diclusumab, codename Zimbrita.